Hey happy campers, it's uh, John the Casual RVer. Gonna give you a tour of our uh, 2020 Holiday Rambler Vacation, our 35K. Uh, absolutely gorgeous stay here in uh, Ira, Michigan. We're here at uh, North Point Shores. Just a real quick uh, tour of this. This is Anchor Bay, uh, right off uh, Lake St. Clair. But uh, what a beautiful day. Not quite yet spring, but uh, that's, a, uh, that's a general overview. We'll just kind of hit uh, real quick the outside and then uh, concentrate on the, uh, on the inside here. Of course, it's uh, the Ford F53 chassis, 22K chassis, with the uh, Ford V10 6.8 liter and the uh, six-speed transmission. So let's go inside and uh, take a closer look at the interior of our, uh, of our new rig. Of course, uh, it has a solid uh, steps there, solid surface uh, steps. The uh, Four six volt house batteries underneath the steps there. And uh, say hello to Zach. Zach is our, uh, of course, camping cat with us here. Start off with the uh, standard dash, right? Nothing, uh, nothing really new about that. What we do, what I do like about it here, give it a second for the uh, light to adjust. There we go. So uh, on the right side, that's a Kenwood radio. It's a Kenwood radio and speaker system. That also serves as a uh, your backup camera. But then right here, of course, Zach's in the way there. Not a not a problem. That is. I don't know if you can see that. That's a dedicated uh, rear view camera and side view cameras. And then you can also program it for a uh, three split views. So you can see your, your rear and your side views all at the same time. And then you can also switch it over to your Kenwood radio as well. And then of course your uh, Leopard uh, controls right there. And that this is new for 2022 with the uh, LED screen. It shows you your uh, de degrees and, and all that. Standard engine cover and of course uh, the desk pops out. These, uh, say hello Zach. That's Zach. He's our camping cat. Of course the uh, chairs uh, swivel around. And uh, there's your Euro loft. It, it comes down as normal. We're not going to get into a lot of heavy-duty stuff because that's pretty much common. Now up here you have a, a small TV, uh, better viewing if this is go down for you know your kids, grandkids, and the storage there, they slide open. Uh, they don't uh, open like regular uh, cabinet uh, doors do. They slide uh, to the right and to the left. And then you also have your uh, Wi-Fi Ranger Sky 4 controls in that cabinet right there. Let's uh, open up this one right here. Of course, you have your Magnum uh, inverter and your uh, Euro loft controls. And you have your uh, slide-out room uh, manual control right there, but there's a lot of redundancy in this uh, coach. So, also new for uh, 2020 is a Precision Circuits touchpad you can go you can operate uh, everything right uh, right there uh, program your lights dim your uh, slides monitor your tank levels generator auto gen start all your uh, all your fans uh, and you can even uh, tell what's going on with your uh, voltage man management system and then, of course, you have your, all your precision uh, circuits uh, multiplexing 
switches right there. There again, you can uh, do your slides from these switches. You can do the slide uh, from the uh, Precision Circuits touchpad or the manual control above. And then right down there you have your short-term storage uh, main and uh, auxiliary uh, battery disconnects. And then you also have outside a uh, hard disconnect with a uh, rotary switch. So one thing new about 2020 is your HVAC system. They went to a single larger duct rather than uh, a dual duct side by side. It seems to be quieter. Now uh, this coach has 15,000 BTU air conditioning units and the rear one here is a, uh, is a heat pump which is uh, pretty decent. Also new for 2020 is this uh, long low window. Absolutely gorgeous. And if the awning uh, wasn't down, you could, uh, you could see the beautiful lake view right now. Of course, solid, uh, solid surface uh, countertops. And it has a, of course, a residential 22 uh, square foot Samsung fridge with ice maker. Uh, another uh, item that's new for uh, for 2020 is the uh, the way the television uh, pivots and swivels out. So let's kind of hold you right here, and we'll uh, we'll show you how that works. Very very cool. Hold you right there. And it comes out, pivots, oh, and then uh, goes right back in. So that's kind of cool. Sorry if we lost you here. And I think we did. Yeah, we did. So let's do this one more time here. Sorry about that. Comes out. Pivot swivel. Of course, you have your uh, sound bar, and that's also Bluetooth. There you go, Zach. Good boy. All right, standard uh, fireplace there, and it's a 5,000 BTU uh, fireplace if you want a little heat. Uh, also, what's new is the Dometic. Seal burner, uh, seal burners with nice uh, cast iron grades. Of course, the covers are pretty pretty standard there. Sorry about uh, all the movement right there. Now, I just love the uh, the tile work in here, and of course that's glass tile. Standard uh, convection microwave. Really, really nice uh, solid wood cabinetry. And then uh, underneath the uh, sink, you have a oh, regular dish rag uh, compartment right there. And then enough room for your solid surface uh, covers and a trash bag. Now, what I really like about uh, Fleet. Well, Fleetwood, the Rev Group, Holiday Rambler is their cabinetry. And you can take a look at a uh, butterfly joining. And there again, this is solid wood. And wherever there is a shelf, it's adjustable. And then it also has, uh, it's ozite lined. And on this one, of course, uh, pull outs, that's pretty much standard. There again, look at the look at the uh, carpentry woodwork. Ozite lined on all the shelves, so that just keeps things from uh, moving around. Standard uh, dinette type bed. Now this is the dream dinette, so that table goes all the way down to the floor, 
and then you just uh, flip the latches and both those ends come together and that will make a, a small bed. But I, I want to say this is um, Lexington furniture and not flex steel this year. And uh, the dinette, the chairs themselves, they're spring type. They're not just one solid, uh, solid foam piece of uh, piece of foam. There, they're uh, they're actually inner spring, and then uh, no wood in there. It's all it's all metal framing, which is very nice. Of course, standard storage. We're not going to open up that L-shaped uh, couch. Very comfortable. Of course, that section comes out, and that's another seating. This unit right here. Really nice uh, tile work there. Nice end table. Uh, also, MCD shades. So you have your day and night shades. This is a, a bath and a half, so this is the half bath. Nice solid wood door. Oh, that's closing. Also, what I like about it, they use a solid piano hinge, door hinge on there, which is uh, very, very nice. Stainless steel sink, and also, look at this, this is kind of cool. So that's your stopper. It just, uh, it's a plunger style. It doesn't, uh, it won't rattle around. Another, uh, another thing new for uh, 2020 model year. You see there is no pedestal that this toilet toilet sits on. Both toilets uh, are now macerator toilets. They are not vacuum flush, so there's no need for them to sit on a on a pedestal. And also look at that, no switches. It works like your regular uh, straight dump uh, toilet. Halfway down will fill the bowl, and then all the way down it automatically uh, flushes through a macerator system. There again, nice, uh, nice storage, nice window, nice medicine cabinet, fully lined, of course, many shelves with the Ozite uh, lining. I really like uh, the way they did the chair rail and different color of uh, wallpaper here. Let me uh, step back and show you the floor. The floor, the floor is a um, individual tile floors by Tarquette. It's a very, very heavy duty um, tile flooring. And so if, if one gets damaged, you can pop it up and put another one. They give you a whole box of, uh, of new tiles. This is a RV King size bed. Starting at the top there. There again, a really nice uh, cabinetry. Now the center one is has a 110 outlet and a spot for a CPAP. As soon as you open up that cabinet, uh, it will light up in there automatically. 110 USB on either side of the bed. Now also, you may or may not know with the USBs and the 110 outlets, if it has a USB, it works off the inverter. So you don't need to be hooked up to shore power or have your generator running for those USBs and those 110s to be, uh, to be live, as long as you have your inverter on. And that also goes for your CPAP machine too, which is very, very cool. Uh, this one does have the option for the combo washer and dryer, which we did not do. We, uh, we like the hanging, sp hanging space. So also you have, I don't know if you can see it, but you have generator uh, start there as well. Go back here. They have uh, cedar lined uh, closets, which is very, very nice. Kind of a view showing the uh, the opposite uh, end going to the uh, driver's area. Of course, this is our happy place. 
absolutely beautiful woodwork. Very, very nice. Now let's go into the master, uh, master bath. Well, wait a minute. Before I do that, let me, uh, let me show you this. Of course, TV. This is, this is kind of standard, but uh, it also has the, uh, the Plex system. Now, this is for your 12-volt. Uh, and if you have a blown fuse, you can scroll through and it will tell you uh, what fuse is blown and what number, which is uh, kind of cool. Here again, I'm not going to open up all the drawers, but just a, just a couple here. This is your uh, 110 breakers, and you, you have pullouts right there. And then we'll go down under here. There again, we got uh, pullouts right there. Sorry, it's a little shaky. Macerator toilet operates just like your standard uh, direct dump toilet. And then, of course, your solid uh, one piece fiberglass shower. Nice seat. Very good fixtures. All metal. And uh, that's a porcelain sink. There again. Any shelf is adjustable with the Ozite lining. Nothing rattles. Plenty of storage. Pocket door, of course. And then uh, you have your pocket door in here as well. Um, just one more quick uh, overview. Of our 2020 Vacationer 35K. Well, that's it for Zach and I today. Um, we're going to also do a, uh, a short video on the outside, but that will come in a little bit. So... Um, we'll talk to you later. Happy camping, and uh, thank you for watching.